so we're gonna run the Tesla coil again. But first I'm gonna show you my alterations I made to it. Now, remember in the previous video about this, I had a lot of resistors that burnt up. Well now, I've converted this to antenna type of feedback. So, this is the antenna right here, it's tied to a piece of string. So that's now connected in place of the feedback transformer. Even though you can still see the feedback transformer on there, that's not actually connected to anything anymore. And the space of the secondary is now connected to ground. So, now, it comes on instantly. I don't have to cycle the power anymore. And this is on 170 volts. Which is equivalent to what rectified US mains would be. But you know what? More! So we're going to try this on rectified UK mains, which means without an isolation transformer. Okay, this is the big one. Gonna run this directly off rectified mains. Ballasted, of course. But it will still have close to 340 volts going into it. As you can see, there's wire coming out. Going into the capacitors. Now, this is where this thing could blow up or catch fire in some way because my gate drive transformer could flash over because that's going to be at about 340 volts potential. The RF could fry my control board or my MOSFETs could explode or catch fire. And of course, there is the infamous Miller effect where when you put more load onto a MOSFET, the effective gate capacitance increases. So anyway, I'm just going to retreat to somewhere where I'm safe and we'll turn this on and we'll see what we get. I'm also wearing ear protectors in case something makes a loud bang. Safety's off. Is that it? That was full rectified mains. I was expecting way more than that. But to be honest, I did have ballast set to its lowest settings. So uh, we're going to try again and then just briefly ram ramp it up and we'll see what we get. Now that's more what I was expecting. So that was at the full 340 volts and nothing seems to have got fried. So we're good. And that's it for now, so until next time.